Hey, this is Brooke Drum with Printerbot.com, and I wanted to tell you about a couple new products that we're readying and getting ready to release here. So, um, if you haven't checked out the new Ubis All Metal Hot End, um, you can watch the video for that. But we've mated that um, and tested that with a new extruder. Now, what you'll see that's different about this extruder from our other ones, there's no pinch wheel. You can literally feed filament down into this and there's two gears in there. I'm going to take it apart to show you how this works. There's two gears in there with no spring tension. This is a printed part and we, well that's okay. Um, we are going to share these files, but I'll tell you what the critical part of this hot end is. There's two pinion gears that have been turned down to the proper size for filament to perf 1.75 filament to perfectly fit in these grooves. And so there's some very tiny bearings, bearing on that one, and this one goes right to the drive shaft. But these gears couple together, if I can get it in there, and these roll against each other beautifully. Now, uh, the hot end is up in here and it does pinch to hold it. And this crease right or this uh, relief there will actually allow it to pinch and hold the regular Ubis hot end or the new all metal Ubis hot end but it's a very small package when you feed the filament down in there it just grabs it so you will have to use a computer and then um, there's a small little uh, PTFE or Teflon tube that reaches all the way up and this Teflon tube reaches all the way down and the point of that is so we can do a Filiflex, NinjaFlex, and uh, you know, really flexible uh, material to, to be in there. Now, what we're doing with this is, um, even though we fully intend to release this very soon as actually our first in, well, I can't say first, but for the printer bot simple, it'll it'll be the first injection molded part. Um, this is going to be injection molded, but we figured why not let the community play a little bit? So we'll release these printed parts. And we will sell you the hardware needed to use your current motor and use this new extruder with an existing Ubis hot end or a new uh, all metal Ubis hot end. But we want you guys to be able to play with this. Um, we'll open source it, we'll let you print it if you want. But I believe this is PLA, and this new Ubis hot end is super, runs super cool. If you have a regular Ubis hot end, you may want to think twice about running it, but it'll be a great matchup. Uh, with this new hot end. But if you want to try it, uh, maybe you can print an ABS and use it with your current UBIS and uh, give us some feedback because we want to hear from the community on this. If we go to do an injection molded part, we want to do it right the first time. So we'll be doing that and releasing that. But we wanted to show you um, it prints really well and it, it really does a great job. And one nice thing is since this will be injection molded and right now it's printed, um, it does not let any heat seep up from this new hot end runs very cool but uh, these two paired up are really nice because the motor or the heat seeping up from the old UBIS it just won't overheat here so everything runs really cool and it's really nice so um, we'll let you uh, purchase these as a limited beta we only have a, a limited number of these gears that we can let go right now um, but we'll be releasing the injection molded part very soon. We wanted to tell you about it and get those of you brave enough to try this new design and give us some feedback. We can't wait to hear what you think about our new extruder.